this tutorial we will look at the web service and more specifically we will look at how to utilize a web service like currency converter provided by on the net by some providers and what we will do is that we'll set up a web service consumer as you can see here using some other programs and some other servers so if we try for example to google web service currency converter we'll get something like this here and if we click on that one we can see that there's a web service x.net providing a, a very nice uh, currency converter what we also can see is that they here show where is the w sdl whistle schema location is this we need for later use so we will copy it right now here it also shows a little bit about how it looks like and of course it looks i'd say awful but there's a lot of information thanks god we don't need any of this information understanding of it because we're just going to utilize it that is all so I'll start NetBeans up. As um, usual, create a new project. It's just going to run a normal Java application. Let's give it something like a currency client, because it's a client project. That's fine. Well, it takes a little time today. Seems there's a problem. No, it's coming up fine now. Now, to this project, I want to add something. I want to go in and set up a web service client. If you don't have it right here, this possibility, then go to other. And inside other, you can choose here web services, web service client. Now the name of this web service client in the package, you can see here, you have the whistle all, and that was the one I just copied before. So I'll just copy it in like this here. And then I can nickname the package something. If I don't specify the package name, then it will automatically use uh, the web service x.net naming but to make it a little short i will just say it's a web service from net x finished and then we can see uh, there was a generated something here inside here comes a generated sources And see the reference we got here. That's a reference of a currency converter. And if we look down here, we can see there are one, two, three, four possibilities. Inside these possibilities, we notice there's one called SOAP 12, one, two, and there's a conversion rate. This is the one I will choose later on. If we go up here, take a look here. We can see there's a whistle file here. And this whistle file is actually the same as before, but we can see here it is uh, using some kind of XML coding inside. And it tells us a little bit about the some name from currency and one name to currency. And down here we have the shorts for all the different currencies, like set up like a enumeration might be handled smarter but it's okay for so far and then down here we have uh, the naming we just saw the, the possibilities and we can see there's a lot of stuff and thanks god somebody made that automatically for us 
So let's move back here. Inside here. And now let's use that web service. This I do by right click. And then I check uh, insert code. And you can see now it's possible to call a service operation, which I will do. And I here I already can see now that I have the possibilities. I take this one and set this one the conversion rate. Okay. And then it's building up the use here. What you immediately will notice is that there was generated a method inside here my class currency client and this method I can now use. You should also notice in the method that from currency and the to currency which is here they have got a little package name in front of here WS net X currency. The reason is that the inside the generated sources find our package before. And then you can, for example, see this one called currency here. Now, if I do it like this, I say Java Yard Util. You will find there's also a currency class there. So when we program this program here, we, we need to put in the package name in the front. Otherwise, uh, in the compilation, it will be confused. So I will now uh, put up something I want to convert, for example, from US dollar to a good strong Danish crowns. And it will look something like this here. Just grab this one here. not a string and then let's do the same thing from the two currency like this and this time I want to do something else Danish crown then like as you know still is outside the euro so so then I have the two uh, currencies and then I just need to, to call the method here, the conversion rate, I put it into a result. and then the two currency like this looks good no problem and then of course I, I need to somehow uh, to write it out so let's say the ratio is like this just make it very simple So now uh, the program is actually finished. It is, of course, always a good idea to build everything, which I will do now. And it was built successfully. And then I can just uh, run my program. And that takes a little time, or oh, it's very fast, because it is actually invoking over the stoop. 
a remote procedure function call over to the web service and back again. And we can see that the ratio here is 5.2599. So it seems like that the web service really functioned very well, I would say. So what's next? I've always seen how to go in and very fast utilize something on the net. The next step, of course, uh, would be to go in and try to provide your own web service. And that's how you do that. You can see in the next tutorial about web service calculator, a provider here. So I'll be back in a moment with that.